Sometimes kickers go from one hash mark to the other. And this game, this rivalry, you can hear the Washington side clanging mm -hmm. the bells. And here we go. Underway, a high, flipping end over end, fill it on about the 12-yard line by Washington. Going to the left side and brought down pretty quick about the 26. Washington running the spread offense, got the trips to the right side. Quarterback in the shotgun, got a setback with him, a wide out on the left side. Their lineman, man, they got a big gap between their linemen up there. Sure about, do. About a two, three foot gap. Quarterback's going to do a quick flip out pass to the right side. He's got a reception out there. He's got a man. And oh, we, he almost broke it, though. If he could have kept his balance. He, he, and they're going with a no huddle offense. They're coming out this time, two wides left. Shotgun, one set back with him, got a motion man right to left. Flips it to the motion man, coming to the left side, trying to turn the corner. He ain't going to make it. He's going to make it. Another flag out, thrown on the 30. And that's going to be uh, probably an illegal block where that flag is thrown, but we'll have to see. And they go, we're still going with that no huddle offense in the shotgun. Man to again. a setback, just goes straight up the middle with it. Going to get a little stack up there. Now, Number four, Demarion Jones brought him down. Our first, and, first and 15, they picked up about three on that. It's going to make it second and 12. Quarterback going to do another quick pass out to the right side. He's got a man out there. Got the reception. Going to come down over the 25, around about the 26, 27 yard line. They're going to make it no huddle. Quick pass is not throwing downfield, quick, but you know they're, they're trying to set it up where they. Another whistle going to be a false snap. start by the Tigers. From right. Both sides, of the, I mean, both teams. But both teams. Tigers got two wide to the left, one to the right, one set back in the shotgun. Quarterback step back. It's going to be a quarterback Sneak. draw, and he stumbles as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Is there a magnetic field out there that's pulling them down or something? 25-yard line. Their punter will fade back to about the 13-yard line. We got a receiver standing back on right about the 50. Another flag prior to the snap. Some more motion. Will that move them back or will that move it? Big is move Wilkes them back? I think Washington messed up. They got all that yellow over there. They got their fans all in yellow. And they, they, the rest <laughs> are throwing these yellow flags to follow suit. There you go. Number three, Norman waiting back for the punt. He's standing inside the 10-yard oh, line. Oh, bad punt. Bad punt. Oh, he just Clumble. got clobbered. Woo! 
Like you said, it's a bad snap. It's it skipped bad on the snap. ground. Jalen Wade just rung his bell. School's in. Ding ding. On it. But anyway, the bottom line, the end of all that, we've got the ball. First and ten. And the ball is and we're knocking on the door. About the 12, 13 yard line. Good number hands off to number three. He yeah. just he just moved a pile footballs it up. Left guard tackle spot. That's yards. Hard yards. He moved the pile with him. Ball's on about the eight yard line. So second and eight. From the eight. Two setbacks. Gonna turn. Hands off to his tailback again. Going off the right side this time. Right guard tackle spot. Five. Can't, it's hard to tell at the angle. They got the markers over here. Looks like the ball is on what about the seven yard line. All right, quarterback's up under the center. He's got a wide to the left. And he's going to fake hand off oh. to the right side. Tosses it out to the left and they read it perfectly. Throw us for a loss. Did a little inside fake handoff and just yeah. turned and, and, and pitched it when he did. Almost. There were four. Our kicker is, let's see what he's got. We got Josh Shelton holding and uh, O'Neal oh, kicking the field goal. Right down the middle of Main Street. It's Man, good. That one made it almost to the ticket booth over there at, at Lily and Sam. So real quickly, <laughs> we're up. Where was that? Bus? The field goals couldn't very well be the deciding factor in the game. Lincoln County. There. And, and so the, far, we on top. And the big thing that helped on that is we kicked off to them and the penalties. They had four or five penalties. But they went to punt. It was a bad snap on the punt. We tackled the punter deep in their territory on about the 14-yard line. And then we managed to pull it out with a field goal. And here's O'Neill's second kickoff of the night. A good high one. We'll be filled at the 15-yard line on the left side of the field, coming to the sideline, oh, and we take him down. Number one, Roberts took him down to the ground, right by the sideline. All right, Washington, two wides to the right, one on to the left, one set back. He's going to throw it out to his left. Got the man out in the left flats by himself. Yeah, Got a reception and a first down. Is that their first first down? Washington going with the no huddle. Two wides right, man in motion from left to right. He's going to do an inside handoff to him, tries to turn the corner. It's shut down, but he's got a lane once he cuts inside, and he's going to get it all the way out to the 45. He's going to bring up second and a long two for the Tigers. Two wides to the left side this time. One to the right, one set back in the shotgun. Hands to his tail back. Goes to the middle, scoots to the left side. He's across midfield. He's got the first down, but there's a flag on the field back at the 40. Well, a personal foul. Hit him up under the. <laughs> he hit his chin, so I don't know if he's. <laughs> we, we, we jacked somebody up under the face mask or what it was. But anyway, Washington's got the first down. Oh, just throw it outside of his arms. He, number 21, leaped towards the end zone. Throw was towards the end zone, and I mean, towards the sideline. Quarter, Lincoln up. Three to nothing in the shotgun. Four wides to the right side. Nobody back with the quarterback in the shotgun. And he's going to do the quarterback draw again. He's going to pick up a few yards. He's inside the 35. He's going to come down about the 32. Out and just hoping the quarterback can find a little lane to take off with. Two wides to the right. Hands off to his tailback. Tries to go middle. Nothing there. Goes to the and outside. The picks up the first. But there's a flag back on the 30. Call it third and 11 with the ball just inside the 40 on the 39 and a half yard line. Hoping, hoping we can, hoping the Red Devils can hunker down here. We got to move ball just a little bit more. He had moved okay. it far. He had to move back. it on the other side of the 40 instead of, now it's on the 41 instead of the 39. There you go. Somebody didn't uh, carry the one. Pass play out the left flat. has got his receiver out here. We got gobbled three. up. Gonna... Woo -hoo. Holy fumbled the ball. The fumble on the field. Oh, uh, Lincoln County saying they might have it. The fumble. All right, they're putting trips to the right side. One wide left. And we're going to call timeout. Coach Banks calls timeout to make sure he's got the right defense for, for this uh, crucial fourth down play. 
So while they're talking about it, let's go back and hear from one of our fine sponsors on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Going for it, putting three wides to the right. Quarterback's in the shotgun. He's one, two, three, four, almost five yards back deep. He's got a set back a yard behind him. One wide to the left. He's driving straight back to pass. Going to air it out downfield. Oh! And it's a completion, man. Perfect pass. I mean, he man. Just, I didn't think he was going to get to it. I didn't either, but you can tell by the by the crowd over here. He got to it, and he got in the end zone. Will County's going to be up with 541 left to go in the first quarter. And that's one of the things where he just outran our defender. He just got beyond him. Going for the extra point. They're lining up for two, and there's a flag on the play prior to the snap. That down, they're just... They're just that, killing that was us. almost like a. The way they let us in, we had three guys rushing through. It's almost like almost, a play. Almost action. like a screen. Yeah, screen. They're going for the one, the kick. It's good. It's good, but didn't have a lot on it. So you know, he, he hit the side of the gym. Our guy's been kicking him over, but but at 5:41 to go in the first, Washington Wilkes takes the 14. Jalen Wade on the right side, number eight. Xavier Gartrell on the left side. Waiting on this kickoff, 541, Washington Wilkes is up, 7-3. to three. There's the kick, it's going to be fielded by Hartsfield about the 12-yard line. He's just going to go straight up the gut with it, and there flares off to the left side, tries to, tries to look like he did a little Superman. lunge over him, but he, he jumped right in the crowd. He did a little Superman move, and when, when, when you're four foot, almost nothing, yeah. <laughs> and you jump and you're still only six foot, it, it was too many people there, he couldn't go through it, so why not try to go over him? Lincoln County with the ball. Got two two setbacks. Quarterback up under center. One wide to the left. Turns. Hands to his first back. Second back through. And they stack down. it up and they just grab him and wrap him around. Sling him around like a like a rag doll. There's another flag on the play. Come on, Ralph. Let these boys play. <laughs> I think he lost about a yard on it, but we got the flag. Lockhart and, and Jones are wide on the right side. Didn't Got another flag. Another flag. We turning roles reverse. Now we're getting like we're then moving it back another five. You know, all sides on us. Move it back another five. We're gonna make it first and twenty-five. Back to the fifteen. Jalen Jones wide to the right. Then Quay Hartfield's the slot man. In the shotguns, quarterback back there by himself, fakes the handoff, tries to go up the middle with it, picks up a yard, couple yards, but when you got second and 25, you got to pick up a heap. He's going to make it second, and we're going to call it second and 23. All right, we line it up, everything's in there tight. Quarterback's in the center, got two setbacks. Everything's tight. With the inside handoff stacked up, nothing going, nothing doing. Probably doesn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Their line right now is making a statement. They're they're pushing back, and right when we hand the ball off, they're in the in the backfield. Washington. That that would not be the place to try to run. They're Washington. <laughs> Washington's well, almost in a goal line defense, and we're almost in a goal line offense. And we just try to run it straight up the middle again. Nothing doing. And we pick up about two yards out of that. It's going to make it fourth. Fourth and about 21. So we'll have to come out and punt with, with 20 plus yards to go. And it's going to be timeout called by Washington Wilkes. So with their timeout, we'll go back and hear from another one of our sponsors on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. And then we're back. Ryan O'Neill's getting ready to punt for Lincoln County. He back around the 10-yard line. He gets the punt off. It's going to be fielded by the Tigers at the 45-yard line. Fair he catch called, called for fair catch and then, then, then wished he had because he tried to run after he caught yeah. it. What was that drive? About 75, 76 yards? Mm -hmm. 
with it, capped it off with that uh, perfect pass play. And quarterback's going to do a little inside handoff for Washington. We're going to stack it up. Going to get maybe a yard out of it. It's going to make it second and nine with the ball on the 46. They're 46. Host of Red Devils. And they're still going with the no huddle offense. The linemen have got about a two-foot gap between them. Quarterback dropping back. Throws out there to the right. There you go. Side. Incomplete pass. Had his man there open. He just threw it behind him. Well, Hartfield was there, too. He, he kind of broke it up a little bit. It's obvious that the pass and the attack is, is their bread and butter this first quarter. I think they got some quick receivers, and that's one reason why they're going to these little passes that they're doing. Trips to the left side. Quarterback three-step drop back, getting pressured. Oh, man. And we hit him as he gets the ball off, and there's a wobbly dying quail coming down. Almost picked off, almost caught, but Jalen Wade and Javon Holloway back there to greet him in the backfield. Then eight for the Tigers. Their punter standing back on his 35-yard line. We got our receiver standing back on our 25. Low snap again, a little trouble picking it up, but he does get the punt off. Going to the right side and, uh, oh, who was that number two for Lincoln County? Leverett just floored one of the Tigers. He was He's picking grass out of his <laughs> face mask off his back. The, what about the 15, 16 yard line? So far with two possessions, we've got 10 attempts for 14 yards. We're not, we got to get better with that running the ball. All right, one, one team or the other called timeout. I didn't see which way they pointed, but that's all right. There's 2.23 left to go in the first quarter. Lincoln County is on the bad end, 7-3. to three. This is about where we were just a few minutes ago, running it up the middle. Let's see if we keep everything in tight again and try to make some. Are, are we trying to pull them in and then go I, for a quick toss sweep or something? I'm, I'm trying yes. to figure out. And we're going to try to go up the middle again, but this time Hartfield was going in motion from left to right. I could see what that could be a good setup. Like cross book, yeah. You, you, you fake the handoff inside and you toss it to him with his speed, and he shoots to the outside. He's off to the races. Under two minutes to go in the first quarter. <clears throat> Everything's in tight again. They've got, Washington's got nine in the box. No, oh, there goes Mr. Hartfield. Hartfield and he goes off the right tackle in spot, picks up some positive yards, but not enough for the first. But he's going to get it out to about the 23. He's going to make it third and about two. 30 last week. He got some good yardage. He's a little tough running back. But we got what? Uh, Jamar and Hartfield in the Jamar backfield. Hartfield. Everything's in there tight again. Going to hand to Hartfield again. This time he's got oh, the he, Oh, oh he hits, there's a ball. We found the ball. ball up. Gosh, I hope we got it back, Doug. I saw the ball pop yeah. up. He got hit. He goes back and the ball goes straight up. Washington saying they have it. Lincoln County saying we got it. And I think we're gonna have a first down, Doug. Let's see where they where they spot it and mark it. It's gonna be close. I think they're gonna measure. Well, that's good. Lincoln County picks up the first, first and 10. The ball about to 26. Still going with that tight offense, everything in there, toe to toe. Nobody spread out wide. They hand off to Norma, goes up the middle, and he's going to push it out to the 30 or so. A little pounding ground now. He was down. Yep. Number 27 come out like, like he had the ball, but he was down. We're trying it. We're going we're gonna to keep punching and keep punching. and We're going to try to get us yep. an uppercut here in a few minutes. We're going to try to. Second seven, same formation. We're in there toe to toe. Everything's tight. Nobody's spread out. Another quarterback fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, goes, slides to the outside. That's Lockhart on, on the keep. He's going to get it up past the 30. They're going to spot him. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So after one quarter of play, Lincoln County is trailing Washington Wilkes. We've got three, they've got seven. And we'll be back in just a minute with a second quarter play here at Larry Campbell Stadium in Buddy Buffett Field on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. 
All right, we're back, ready to start the second quarter. Lincoln County trailing three to seven. We have the ball, third. Looks like about third and four. We're still in there in that tight, bunched up offense. And while we got a flag on the play, I'm gonna... Lockhart was up on the center, stepped back, walked down the line. It's gonna be against Lincoln County as they move back. Have, have we even got set? I think so. We uh, must have because nobody on the other side's over there fussing about we it. We had one first down in the first quarter. We had 15. We've had three penalties for a total of 25 yards, and they've had five penalties for a total of about 30 yards. All right. So the motion penalty moves us back five yards, and so now we got third and nine. Delay of game, Red Devils. Now we got a delay of game, moves it back another five yards. So now we've got third and 14, whereas we had, what, third and four before the, the penalty started uh, accruing. And we still yet to get a playoff this quarter. All right, we've got a wide out to the left side. We've got uh, Gartrell wide to the left, two setbacks. Lockhart up under center, fakes a toss. Oh, oh, we fumbled a ball. Wilkes County jumps on it. That the, the handoff was just terrible. He fakes that quick, a, a quick toss to the outside man, brings it back under the handoff to the inside man, and he handed it to the, in the shotgun, three wide to the left, one set back with the quarterback, one wide to the right. Their linemen got two and a half foot gaps between them. They spreading everything out. We're on a four man front. Throws it out to the left, got a man out there by himself. He's got the receptions. We nip him at the feet, he stumbles and still picks up about three more steps. Picking up about eight yards out of that, so it's gonna make it second and a yard and a half. Early in the second quarter, Washington is knocking again. Another quick pass out to the outside. They got a reception, the man's loose, he's Touchdown, in. Touchdown, Wilkes County. That, that was a mass confusion on our defense. We had guys still shifting out that way for the extra men out there as the ball was snapped. I don't know what Washington did. They did it pretty quick and we didn't uh, spot it quick enough. Lock an assignment and they pick up a quick touchdown. Getting ready for the extra point attempt. Snaps low, but the kick is up. The kick is good. So early here in the second quarter, Washington Wilkes goes up 14 to seven. Well, they come to bring it up to uh, for the kickoff. Let's go back and hear from one of the sponsors. After just scoring that 14-yard touchdown pass, the Washington Wilkes Tigers are getting set to kick off to us. Here's the kick. It's going to be a high end over end one. Going to be botched, bobbled. We're going to pick it up inside the five. Finally, could Number be three a good thing. We've Breaking got a lane. Loose. One man there. He's oh, out. Oh, come on, baby! Oh. And they shoestring tackle him at the 50-yard line, but there's a flag back on the 20. Oh my goodness. I that think that, that was almost kick, kick start we needed. Yep. Hopefully that will be against Lincoln County. I mean against Wilkes County. And that was a busted busted kickoff thing. We we didn't feel it quite like that. But you wouldn't have been 10 yards further back from there though. Exactly. <laughs> so with the penalty, it's going to put us back way deep in their territory to the 10 yard line. We haven't been having good success deep in their territory. Up under the center, two setbacks. He's dropped, rolling out to his left to pass. Throws out in the flats. It's going to be incomplete. Pass intended for number 30, David Byrne. He's the one that caught a te early touchdown. touchdown pass last week. Almost the same kind of pattern as he got that touchdown play last time. This time he led him just a little bit too much. Got a wide out way to the left side. Two setbacks with the quarterback. He's under the center. He's going to do a spin around handoff. I think to Hartfield, they're going to stack him up. Maybe, maybe gets to the line. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe loses a yard. I'm not sure. 
scoreboard saying eight yards, but the down marker is right at the uh, original line of scrimmage, so I'm going to call it third and ten. All right, we're coming two wides to the left side. Hartfield and Jalen Jones wide on the left side. One set back with the quarterback. He's up under the center. He's rolling out. He's got a lane. On, lock a lane. Picks up a few yards, but not going to be enough for the first down. No, he gets out to about the 12, 13 yard line. So it's going to make it fourth and a long seven for Lincoln County. We'll be punting away. And right, and right now, Doug, I don't know what we can do to move this ball. No. Their line is just dominating us on both sides of the ball. Good punch can be filled it back on our 47. He's going to return back across midfield and finally up ended at about the 40 yard line. They may say he got to the 39. Good return. I think he got to about the 39. I think you're correct. Good return. Low line punt gave him a good, I guess you'd call it an access point to get some yardage. Yeah. To go in the second quarter, 14 to 3. Wilkes County's on top. And again, they got four wides to the left side, and we ain't got the two. Defense. Oh, what a good tackle. But we read it. Oh, we read they it that time. It. Marquise Levitt on the stop. But they went before four receivers on the left side. We had two defenders out there. Not good odds. Nope. Come back, Wilkes County. And the pass again, and it's going to be just out of the hands of number 21 yep. for Wilkes County. He had a little, uh, he had a little hand in his face there, but he hit, they gave him just enough time to get it released. But he a little bit too high for number 21 from Wilkes County. Lincoln County comes back up to the line. Wilkes County going to be in the shotgun again. And we got a little false start by the Wilkes County Tigers. It's going to move them back just a little bit. We need all the help we can get right now. We're struggling just a little bit. Lincoln County needs a little something to break the light here, something to give us a little bit of light. Have this play. I'll tell you what I was just doing. <laughs> Tiger back in the shotgun, dropping back, looking, getting a lot of pressure. Oh, come on! He's going to dump it off, almost like a screen play. He's at the 40, 50, the 40, 30, hitting the sideline. We're putting Chase on and finally getting brought down about inside the 25. And we had pressure on the quarterback. He was in, almost in the grass, dumped it off, and the Tigers pull out a huge, huge play. A way to listen to the game on the internet and yes you can you go to the Lincoln County Georgia government web page and there's a site there that says Lincoln County Red Devils and you click on that. Oh, oh, number five got it. Interception, interception Lockhart. Lockhart. Number five. Lockhart's got Lockhart's it. Lockhart's got some daylight. 30, He's got 40. it. Got one man in front of him. He's cut the Come on. Force colors him from the back but way deep inside down the field about the 37 yard line. Great day in the morning. That's what we needed right there. May have been the little light that we needed. There's 8.24 left to go yep. in the second quarter. Lincoln County's got the ball off for of interception. 14 to 3. Wilkes County's on top of we fixing the we're on our side of the field. We fix to see what we can do. If we'd let them score there, that could have been too many nails in the call. But this 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 gives us a new life. Alright, going two wides left. And we fumbled the oh, hand off. Oh my goodness. Can you tell who is right in front uh, of us? But Wilkes Wilkes County says they got yeah. it, and they got it. The referee says they got they it. got it. That handoff is so, they're playing so tight on that line that that handoff, uh, that, I mean, it just can't be a clean handoff. They got that, that Wilkes yep. County defensive line is pushing that offensive line. A bad tooth, and, and Greg comes riding up on his bike to give him a look at. And we still appreciate that, Greg. Washington Wells is going to fake a handoff, throws it out to the left side. He's got a reception. Man's off to the race. He's going to get up in it about the 45, falls down oh, about the 46. Got up in it by number two, Marquise Leverett. We appreciate that, Marquise. You think, I think you. A little inside handoff oh, of the shotgun. We miss a tackle. On. He stays on his feet, and he's going to manage to get it back out to the 50 yard line. Picks up about three yards out of it, gonna make it second 
and seven with the ball at the 50. 7.53 to go to the half. Lincoln County trailing three to 14. I know you're supposed to call that the team with the highest points first, but that just, that's a, such an odd thing for me to do. <laughs> Tiger staying in that shotgun with no huddle. Quarterback's back. He's got one set back. Wides right, rides left. Looking, all looking the time at plenty of world. time. Throws underneath. Got a reception down inside the 40, about the 37, and a first down for Washington. Jalen Jones, excuse me, Xavier Gartrell uh, is the one to put the lick on that one. But they got how many yards? I can't count that high from up here. <laughs> <laughs> Standing the shotgun, got a motion man left to right. Quarterback hands to a man running right, trying to follow all that uh, action there, but we're going to hit him in the backfield. He's going to go forward and picks up a yard or two. Somebody, they, they thought he, he got slapped in the face mask, but there was no flag on it. Second uh, long eight. Two wides to the left. Quarterback looks right, steps back. Got too much time, too much time. And there he's rolling out of the pocket. Throws downfield. He's got a man standing there in center he's field. Wide got open. the reception. And we bring him down at the 15. Too much time, and a man standing like a center fielder wide open. The nearest defender was five yards away. You know, earlier we were putting pressure on him, but he was hitting people downfield. Now we're not getting pressure, and he's still got people open. Throws out to the right side real quick out the right flats. We put three on him. Stays on his feet, goes underneath, almost kind of bear crawls under underneath three people and picks up some positive yards. Going to pick up about three and a half, four yards. Quarterback does a handoff. It goes oh, up the middle. Oh, he got stuff. Number 28 did. Gets it down almost to the 10-yard line. Six minutes to go to the half. Lincoln County still trailing 14-3. Stan, no huddle. Two wide to the left. He's quarterback drop back looking to pass. Plenty of time, plenty of time, plenty of time. Looking, looking, looking. Now finally had a little chase given there. Rolls way wide left. Throws through the corner of the end zone. Man wide open in the end zone. Flags Touchdown. on the play. There's a flag come down. Hopefully it's a holding by Wilkes County. Flag up here on about the 14-yard uh, line. They just got, they giving him all day Way long. too much time. On about the 15. Washington three wide. And he fakes it. He draws back like a little Statue of Liberty. Pulls back down. Hands to his back and we bring him down for about a three yard loss. So it's going to make it fourth. Fourth and about 13 from the 14 yard line. We're just not, we're not getting much on ground and uh, as Lincoln County comes back out with defense. All right, let's see what goes on in this fourth down play for Washington. Quarterback's in the shotgun, standing on his 25. He's got time, got time, still got time. Throws out the left flat. Nobody within 20 yards of the guy that catches the ball. And he's going to get it down to about the, what, 11? About the 11 yard line. About the 11. Where did he have to get to for the first? Be almost happy to just take about five minutes off the clock here, go in at half, regroup, and uh, come back out and. We got because we got to figure out something to slow that defense yeah. down where we can move this ball. We're not having any success. I don't know if you need some misdirection, a little cross buck, as Greg Norman used to call it, a little cross buck. Yep. We we need something to move this ball down this field. But the few times we have tried something like that, we've missed the handoffs. Yep. We're just so tight in that defense is killing us. On the line. Lockhart dropping back, throws out to the little left flats. Intended receiver was Jones. He led him by about two yards too much. Incomplete pass. Going to make it second and ten with the ball on the nine yard. Second quarter, Lincoln County down 14 to three. Larry Campbell Stadium, Lincolnton, Georgia. Brent Harris a little wide out on the left side. And a flag is thrown prior to the snap. Probably going to be some motion on this. Going to move it back about. Well, we're inside the 20, so we'll move it back half the distance. On the internet, and you want to give us a shout out, let us know where you're at and 
Highway Sound, and you can uh, send us something to Doug at DougNewman.net. And sometime tonight, we'll probably get may, may, may get your response if you're out there. Just just give us a shout out. Lockhart up under the center. He's going to roll out to his left, looking to pass. He almost intercepted that ball. I was going to say, did he intercept it or? He knocked it back knocked down. It back. Yeah, he knocked it back down, but he almost, almost like the David Pollock days mm -hmm. of Georgia. He almost knocked it down and ran it in for a <laughs> down by. Oh yeah, we've we've been well, we've we been are. we've had our backs to the walls yeah. all night with field position. I think we're doing a great job to be where we're at. Third and fifteen, and we're inside the t our ten yard line. We still got everything up in there tight. Lockhart Come on, rolling out left. Lockhart Looking. rolling. Throw that ball. He throws it out of bounds. Gonna call intentional, intentional grounding. Intentional grounding. Nobody over there. He just got rid of it to, get, to prevent the safety. But uh, with the intentional grounding, that will give them the safety. Yep. So it's going to be 16 to 3. With four. At 4.45 to go over in the half. Washington Wilkes is now up. 16 to 3. O'Neill's getting said he's got it teed up for, for like a kickoff. Hopefully we can hold him here because I know this defense needs a rest. Great good, up over good high kick. one. High. Filled it at the 28. Tries to go at the middle and there. He slants out to the right side. He's got a lane. He's crossed the 50. And finally brought down at about the 45. A good return by Washington. I'll tell you one thing I've seen tonight. Washington has some speed. Yes. Now. They got some definite go get From our 44 yard line, 435 to go to the half. And the shotgun throws out to the right side. Got another reception. We're going to stack him up, push him back beyond the line of scrimmage, but they're going to say forward progress. He's probably going to pick up about two yards out of the whole, whole process. And he's got some barbecue sandwiches in there, too. Ooh, woo. Mo Butter loves barbecue. They out there, they got the game on the radio out there. Snap back to the quarterback, throws it out to the left flats. He's got another reception. The guy stays on his feet. And stumbling and stays on his feet. He got two feet and one hand on the ground, the other than holding the ball and picks up about four yards, just uh, three, three stepping it. Picks up a Tiger first down. First and ten with the shotgun, hands off to a setback. He's got a lane right up the middle. And he picks up another quick first down for Washington. Instead of giving them gate, our guys Gatorade at the half, we might ought to brew some coffee and wake them up or something. Do something there. I mean, that's like they're that was just a, sleep, yeah. a straight handoff up, up the left side, and he picks up 10, 11 yards. It was just. And we're going to have another timeout on the field. I think that'll be the final one for us. So we will go back and hear from one of our sponsors right quick. And we'll be back after this timeout break on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. The stuff up here in Lincoln County is Brandon Stevens. You give him a call and he'll be glad to uh, hook you up with some estimates on getting your roof and whatnot repaired. Washington is going to go back to pass. We block it down for an incomplete pass. So to make it second and 10 with 332 to go to the half. Motivational speaking. Conversate, <laughs> yeah. Conversation. Conversation. Another little inside handoff from the shotgun. Washington guy runs it off left, tackling in, picks up four or five quick yards. They've had 11 rushing attempts tonight for 50. And they're coming out then, still in the shotgun, two wide to the right, one to the left. Short side of the field is the left, one set back with the quarterback. Another little inside handoff, he goes left, cuts back right, we stack him up, bring him down. He's going to pick up a few yards, going to get it down to the 15. And is that going to make it about fourth and what, four? They may be seeking to set us up for a pass here, I'm sure at fourth and four yeah. they are. 28's back there in the backfield, though they may hand it off to him. He's been running the ball pretty good. Two wide to the right, quarterback driving back. He's going to get oh, pressure. Oh, he's got it beat. Touchdown. Our defender trip slipped down at the goal line. Their guy standing in the corner. Another, another 
Touchdown with 2.31 to go to the half. 16 yard. Yeah, if you defend the false, stumbles and falls down, I, I can live with that. We've had too many times where we just went into position. Yep. And a flag prior to the snap for the extra point. Movement against them, so the Washington sort to move it back five yards. And this clock needs to hurry up. We got 231 <laughs> left to go in the second quarter. We need to go ahead and get to halftime. Yeah. I think the only thing gonna help my feelings right now is gonna be some of them chicken <laughs> yeah. wings. We got what well, we got some hot ones, he's got some mild ones. And uh the barbecue wings, I mean barbecue sandwiches, and my personal stash of uh the lemon pepper. <laughs> y'all could y'all can have a few of them. I will share. Snaps there, it's a wide kick. Extra no point. Good. It's not good. So, so it's going to be 22 to 3. Wilkes County is up on Lincoln County with 231 left to go in the second quarter at the 378 war. Uh, the only thing we can, <laughs> the only bright spot I can think of right now is a state championship game in 05. <laughs> that's the only thing I can think yeah. of right now. I mean, that's a coach has passed. <laughs> 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 like, Hopefully Lincoln County this time is going to be able to move the balls. They get ready for the kickoff. We had three pass attempts so far with zero yards. And we've got 17 attempts of rushing for 36 yards. It's number three, be fielded back at about the seven-yard line. By number three, he tries to go up the middle. And he, oh, my like goodness. Another no. fumble. Another fumble on about the 27-yard line. Hopefully we get it back so we can. That's the Wills County saying they got it, Doug. We're waiting for the zebras to tell me. Now nah, Lincoln County is going to keep possession. Yep. So that that's, that's that gives us four return. fumbles with two of them lost so far tonight. We're going to be on the 27-yard line. Man, I hope we can move this ball a little bit. We, we got to get out of this bunched up offense. The Tigers in a five, six-man front on the up on the line. Going to turn hand to Norman going from the to the outside right side. And I really think that the reason we're so bunched up on that line is to try to slow Wilkes County down just a little bit. I think you got an older, bigger off uh, defensive line against that young offensive line. I think they're just can't, we, we can't maneuver any. We can't let our speed guide us like we used to do. What we pick up about five out of it is going to make it second and five. Under two minutes to go to the half. It's kind of a reverse spin around handoff, gets stacked up. And I think four progress is going to get him about a yard or two. Handoff to uh, Trajan Crawford. It's still going to be third and five. Ball on the 34. Quarterback's up under center, two setbacks. Spins around, fakes handoff, drop back pass. And oh, it's be an interception. He throws it way over our guy's head. The guy's, the guy's going up the sideline, still comes back in. Got inside. a flag down. Got a flag down, Doug. Flag down. Thank He's goodness, because he Thank takes goodness. it all the way back. Down. Hopefully the flag is against them. If not, they're on the board again. And we're hoping right now that's going to be on the Tigers. We're praying. And the official is saying it's against them, so that will bring it back. I think it was after the interception, so the possession had changed. Grouping house. Our, 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 our kick to grouping. <laughs> they do something. <laughs> All right, but the Tigers have the ball, 52 seconds from the interception. Ball is on. The 39, our 39 yard line. They end that shotgun. Two wides left, one to the right there. Quarterback dropping straight back. Got time, got time. Got Throws it. it down the middle. Some incidental contact. There's no flag. Incomplete pass is all that was all about. Yeah, and I think, you know, that was a clean play there. They just kind of ran into each other. The quarterback led him just a little bit too much. Ready to rock and roll. This time they put trips to the right side. Quarterback looking right, looking right, throws underneath. Got us a receiver there. Got a reception and a first down. Clock stops on the uh, first down to move the chains. 
First and 10 for the Tigers, 38 seconds to go to the half. They lining up when they uh, get the chain spotted, they'll, they'll be ready to snap and go. It's time Washington coming out two wides either side, one set by those linemen. Still got that almost a yard gap between them. He's got some time for us to add the pocket. Finally still looking, looking, throws deep to the corner again. Intercepted, Intercepted by the Red by Devils, number thank you. He's coming up the sideline. He's got a lane. Uh, come on, number 30. Let's go. Oh, uh, and he's going to get brought down about the 30-yard line with 18 seconds. So we'll have time. We could run about two, possibly three plays or drop on a knee and go go regroup. And thank you, number 30, David. Yep. David Byrne. David Byrne. And we looked offensively, yep. defensively. We just right, right here, I'm in a shotgun. I'm putting three wide to one side and airing it out. Oh, yeah. But we're going to hand it off, and uh, it goes to the right side, just holding on to the ball and just letting the clock run. We're down 10, 9, 8, 7. Hopefully that's going to be it. And I believe that is the – that brings us to one complete half of play. And with that being said, Lincoln County goes into the half down 22 to 3 over the Washington Wilkes Tigers. We'll be right back with the first half scoring and stats on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network after these commercial breaks from our halftime sponsors on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and students. On behalf of the Lincoln County Board of Education, Dr. Brian Campbell, Superintendent, Dr. Howie Gundy, and Mrs. Pam Carmichael, Principal, we proudly present the 2014 Lincoln County Red Pride Marching Band under the direction of Mr. Jasper Duke. The color guard is sponsored by Ms. Corliss Park. The band is played in field command by Thomas Folger and band captain Joshua Parker. Tonight's performance will include music from the legendary spy, 007 himself. Starting with this season's opener, the James Bond theme, followed by Skyfall, featuring Ms. Sharkalen Parks on Baritone. Next, we invite you to come along and enjoy yourself as the band plays music from Carly Ray Jensen, Good Time. The band will exit the field with the playing of our school's fight song. Come in. Is your band ready?
Leverett back at about the five yard line. He's got a lane on the right side. He's then got it all the way out to the 40. And that's where we'll start our first possession of the second half. Hot gun, Norman behind him, Hartfield behind him, getting ready. Comes on the center, hands off to number no, number five. He keeps, keeps it himself. He's still he's on his feet. Midfield. He's on the 45. He's, he's down, down at the 42. To, yep. Just a good, good piece of running by him. Most oh, yeah. most of that was him. He they they opened him up a little lane to get in, but that second effort after the 50 yard line down to the 40. And he comes up. And we're coming out wide out to the left side. Brand Harris. Lockhart getting up under center. He's got two setbacks. Hands to Hartfield. Hartfield trying to go to the right side. They're going to stack him up at the line. Probably for a no gainer. He's going to make it second and ten for Lincoln County. Lincoln County's down 22 to 3. That sounds like a lot of doom and gloom. <laughs> Jalen Jones wide on the left side. Two setbacks again. Quarterbacks up under center. It's all in there tight. He's dropping back to pass. Throws out to the right. Oh, side. we got, got a completion. Receiver. Got a reception. He's inside the 30. Going to wrestle him out of bounds. Looks like close to about the 25. So we're getting. We got number one Roberts on the catch. We, we, we've probably had gotten about as much offense generated close to it. All right, officials are blowing the whistle, stopping the clock for something. What is it, a timeout on the field? It's like a timeout on the All field. Right. I don't know if Lincoln County called it, Wilkes County called it. It may have been Wilkes County. It could, could have been because we were moving the ball and yeah. they wanted to regroup. <laughs> get it bright. Trying to get 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 some recruits going in here. First down, first and ten. Lockhart fakes the handoff, has to keep it himself, tries to go off the left side, and they stack him up. He may get a yard or two out of it. Are they going to... Spot him at about the 22. And, and people don't see a big guy like me. They just walk right into me like, what's wrong with you people? <laughs> Lockhart rolling right, dumps off to the right. Got oh, the we got a little light. Oh, number three got hit. And he's, he's out of bounds. About the 10. About, about the 10. So maybe we've seen some, some things that we can take advantage of it at, at the halftime conversation. Well, like I said, I, I thought if we spread the ball, if we spread the offense out uh, on the offensive side of the ball, we've had some success right before the timeout. We're moving the ball, moving the ball, passing a little bit, running a little bit, and uh, Lockhart comes back under center. We're getting a little excited here. We're knocking on the door. What, at first and goal from about the uh, nine-yard line. Hands off to Hartfield, going to the right side. He oh, scoops touchdown. underneath. Touchdown, Hartfield. Quay Hartfield. Woo! He found a little hole. He yep. just needed a little hole. And right in the hole he went. And that's going to be touchdown, Lincoln County. When you're down, you got to come out fighting. 84 comes on to O'Neill comes on to kick. And that's going to be over the gym. It's going to be right down Main Street. Almost over the gym. Comes back down. But that's going to be good. It's going to, Lincoln County is going to be down now just... 22 to 10 with 9.50 left to go in the third quarter. I tell you what, I'm getting excited now. Got a little getting light fired shining. up now, huh? Got a little light shining. A little double espresso, <clears> if you will. All right, O'Neill teeing the ball up on the 40 yard line. 9.50 to go in the third quarter. Lincoln County scored on the opening drive of the third quarter to bring the ball game within a strikeable reach. 22 to 10. Like we said before, <clears throat> Wilkes County in the first half, they just they dominated with the passing game. About 20 attempts for 180 yards. He's knocking on 200 just as hard as he can knock, and they had 10 rushes, 54 yards. And there's the kick, and there's a whistle and a flag. Our kickoff team, uh, O'Neill getting set to kick. 9.50 to go in the third quarter. This would be Washington Wilkes' first possession of the second half. Another good high one. Going to be filled at the 11-yard line by Washington. He goes to the right side on the sideline right in front of us. Out of bounds. Loses the ball. No, I thought he lost the ball as he went out, but he goes out of bounds at the 34. That's where they'll start their first possession of the second half. But let's see if we've made any defensive changes to combat it. They're coming out in the shotgun. Still everything spread out. Two wides left, one to the right. 
Hand out a little inside hand off to the out. motion man. He goes all the way. He runs about 52 yards east west, <laughs> one yard north south. There you go. And that ain't that, that don't help. That don't help you much. No. There's a player down over there where he went out of bounds. One of our players looks like Marquise Leverett. They <laughs> they drag. <laughs> they grab him by each arm and just pull him on yeah, off the field. That's that cramp I was telling yep. you about right there. The other. Yeah, if you saw him getting ready to have it. He, it, he it, was getting ready. It was coming. He could feel it. So he did about 54 yards of actual running to pick up two yards. So it's going to bring up second and eight. Going to hand off again to the back. Goes up the middle and he's just going to struggle to fight and pick up about seven more yards. Going to make it third and a yard for Washington. Washington still goes with that no huddle offense. They got two wide right, one to the left, one set back, quarterback three yards back in the shotgun. A little inside handoff again. This time we're going to stack him up. Ooh, did we, did we close him up or what? He might have got a half inch. It's going to bring up third and a I'll yard and what, a half. Oh, I think they're getting, look at this spot they're getting there. They're getting Christmas gift early. Yep, a foot or two. It's going to bring up fourth and two. They will be punting. Their punter will be standing back on the 28-yard line. Our receiver standing back on about the 35, and it's a high snap. Oh, over come on, the come on, high snap. He ain't going to get it off. Boom. Yeah, they he got there. a hand on it. Woo. Snap goes over the punter's head. He turns around, picks it up, and is still able to get a punt off. And it's going to be down on about the 38-yard line. I'm telling you, Doug, you had to put some glue on my feet. I'm going to jump up. <laughs> we breaking the huddle. 26 coming wide to the left side for Lincoln County. Jamar's out in the left slot. Lockhart underneath, hands off to Norman going off the right side. He's going to pick up some positive yard. Drives it out to the 30, maybe the 31. He's moving them feet, just moving them as fast as he can. Moving that crowd. 22 to 10. Wilkes County's on top of Lincoln County, but we're trying to, we're trying to come back. We're crawling this Crawling up that hill, as they say. Gartrell wide out to the left side. Lockhart spins all the way around, hands to his back, going off the left side. I believe he's got the first with a yard to spare. That was number 30. Burns. David Burns. So the defense rose to the occasion. So if we can keep the momentum where it's at at this moment, we can make it a horse race. Got wide to the far right side. Everything still else bunched up, but his flag Fox goes before the, the snap. Devils. Move us back five. Make it first and 15, 6.56 to go. Lincoln County trailing 22-10. One of my players Washington has dressed out. Count, count them for me real quick. Huh? Benton says there's 88 guys dressed out for Washington. Good, dressed as a and everything gets stacked up down there as we try to hand the ball off. We managed to pick up a few yards. We're going to get it down to about the 35, maybe the 36. Going to bring up second. And we're going to call it 10. Trying to, trying, trying to make this a ball game. <coughs> All right, Lockhart, he's having some conversation with his setback. We had to hurry and get the play going. They're going to delay you, but he gets a snap, drops back, looks the pass. Throws across the middle, oh. incomplete pass. Intended was at 44. Austin, Austin Parks. Parks. He he was there. It was just a little, a little bit behind him. He kind of had to reach back and got one hand, fingertips of one hand on it. We got number eight. He's going off the field right now. Hancock. That's where they passed the pickle jar. <laughs> the big gallon jar. They pass it down the line. Out. They just all take a hit off the, out of the jar. 5.54 left to go in the third quarter. Lincoln County's down 22 to 10. A little confusion on which side we're going with the wide guy. We're putting two wides to the right side. So in third and 10. Quay, the lone setback. Lockhart dropping back. He's got a little protection. Throws underneath. He's got. Uh, He's got somebody, number 26. Pinned on the spot. It's going to be Bryant Harris. If they spot him where he caught it and not where they pushed him back, he should have the first. I believe he's going to be good, Doug. Brian Harris. They're going to spot him on the line. I think he's going to be a little short. Oh, man, come on. But he was he was in front of the line. It's hard to do a hard count and try to draw them off. And if we don't do it, call time. I think we're going to go for hand, it. Hand it to him and get it. That, that, that'll that spark you right there. That, that, that'll light your fire in a heartbeat. 
Come on, Lockhart. Ah. Come on, Fire. Come on, Bill. There it is. There it is. Too much time. Oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. We had to lay a game for Lincoln County. Gonna push us back. You got to be kidding me. That may answer the question for us. We may have to punt here. That moved us back five yeah. yards. We got fourth and six for the punt. 5.03 left to go in the third quarter, still 22 to 10. Lincoln County is on the bottom of that one. Dale yeah, gets a good snap. High punt. Oh, good. fumble! Uh, he, 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 fall, he, he fell and fumbled at the same time, but he was the only one that could recover the way it fell. Dangerous try to catch with, with, with our guy right in his face. Oh, yeah. They're going to start about the 26 yard line. Clothing on any of the starters out there. Probably not many of the ones standing on the sideline, as <laughs> humid as it is out there. Washington Wilkes coming out, too wide, either side. <clears throat> Motion left to right. Quarterback throws out to his right flat. He's got a receiver out there. He dodges some folks, and he's off he's to the gone. races. He is gone for a touchdown. They had the blocking. Wilkes County just struck on us. 74-yard pass. 74 yards. They had three receivers out there. One steps back. They throw it to him. The other two had those key blocks, and he got the sideline and was gone. 74. Yep. That makes Wilkes County right now with 21 passing attempts for 254 yards. Mm. Mm, mm, that ain't good. Big play like that really hurts. Yep. The little. The little emotional I was getting a little bit ago is gone now, just like somebody just kicked me in the stomach. 438 left to go. Wilkes Extra County just point. throw the bomb on us. It's good. It's gonna be 29 to 10. Wilkes County is up. 29 to 10. 438 left to go in the third quarter. Happy Tiger. Happy Tiger. Him and Jack Daniels are good, real happy. <laughs> And as the Washington kick, it's going to come to the right side. Let it go on out of bounds. It goes out of bounds, so they'll bring it out to the 35. So far tonight, Lincoln County has had 27 attempts for 80 yards. Uh, we've had six pass attempts, two completions, one interception for 18 yards. To go ahead. 4.30 to go in the third quarter. Waiting on the kick. The whistle's blown. Come on, kicker. It's getting hot in this press box. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't take the penalty. We make him kick it back to us again. Jalen Rose throws off to number three, Norman, and he's trying to kind of follow his blockers and see where he can go. I think he gets to about the 28-yard line. Uh, as we trying to Trying to do something here. It's 4.27 left to go in the third quarter. We're down 29 to 10, as Doug added. So uh, we're going to try anything we can try. If you just join. Chick oh, chi there used to be some chicken wings here. <laughs> I go for a walkabout and come back, and they mostly are gone. All and I see you, is bones. You walked out too far. <laughs> All right, lock hard. That's a couple of fake handouts. Keeps it himself. Slides off the left guard spot. Falls forward to the... 30 yard line picks up about two and a half, three yards. Gonna make it second and seven. Tim oh, Timmy. I miss his little cooler with the Gatorade in it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and whistle blows prior to the snap. We're gonna have a little, what do we do? Call timeout before the snap? And we take a timeout right prior to the snap at 352. So with the timeout on the field, we'll take a timeout in the press box and be right back on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network. <coughs> and we're back. Lincoln County is down right now, but we're back 29 to 10 with 350 left to go in the third quarter. And Lincoln County trying to run a little cross buck there. And got a couple yards. I think, what, about two or three yards? Got a couple, two or three. Going to bring up about third and five, looks like. Big, big, big third down play right here. As deep as we are, we, we've got to get, we, we got to pick up the first down and we're going to have to punt, punt, punt away to them. Let's see what we're going to do here. 
Putting uh, wide out, Jaden Jones coming wide to the left, and you got Jamar Norman out in the left slot. One setback, and another official timeout. Well, Wilkes County's clapping their hands like it might be a flag. And did he throw a flag over? No, there? I think Lincoln County called a timeout. No, there is a flag. All Moving right, us back. Delay a game. And that's third and ten. Lockhart rolling out left, throws out to the left. He's got Jones. Jones got a reception, but he's going to get it back to about where it was prior to the penalty. So that's going to bring up fourth. And about five, if we don't have the penalty, we pick up a first down on that play. But with the penalty, it's going to make it fourth and five. And we'll go back in punt formation. O'Neill will be standing back on the 20-yard line. Snaps there, he got plenty of protection, gets a good high one. We don't get pursuit downfield. They've got a wall set up to the left side. He's behind the wall. One guy with a shot at him, but he goes out of oh, bounds. Had a phantom tackle there. <laughs> he got a flag down on the field, though. Flag down on about the 42, but he got behind that wall on the left side real quick. And Did he step on the, the paint on the sideline or what? He, he, he lost his foot and just... I don't know if that was like... I don't know what's on that sideline. Uh, Kenny A. Dares fell over there many times. I don't know exactly <laughs> what kind of gravitational pulls over there to make some people fall down. But down on about the 35, it's going to be back inside their territory on the 48. First and 10 from the 48 for the Tigers. Got motion from left to right. Quarterback hands to his running back, tries to go left, cuts back right. We wrap him up, bring him down on the 50-yard line. I think that's one thing you'll see here for a little while. They may run the ball to kind of speed that clock up yeah. a little bit. But then there have been times there's been coaches there that would run the score up because they could. Yeah. Fakes a handoff, and he keeps the ball, gets it just over the 50 to the 51 or the 49, depending on how you like to call it. We've had, they've had 14 rushes for 69 yards. They, they've run the ball good at some times, but that passing game is what's been killing us. 21 attempts for 254 yards. Way too much passing number. yards. Still in the shotgun, trips to the right side, looks right, looks right, got time, throws underneath. Oh, almost and intercepted. We, who's that? Jones bats it away. He's fading back. Looks like he'll be taking the snap somewhere about the... 38 39 that they've had bad snaps on the on these kicks so we ought to put some pressure in there it's this this time they get a good snap and a decent punt that we're going to fair catch but 19 yard line and that's where we'll start right there on 19 yard line ready to go 54 seconds the score to go with it <laughs> Lincoln County comes out. Lockhart's going to be on the center. Got two backs behind him. Nobody wide. He's driving back to pass. Get hits as he releases. Got a reception. I can't tell which number that was. I think it was number one, Mr. Roberts. But Darius Roberts. On the, on the reception. That's going to give us eight attempts for... For four completions for 29 yards, we had one interception. And what they going to say? Got about five yards out of that. Second and five. The ball on the 25. Little handoff to Jamar. Jamar's got the corner, and then finally knocked out of bounds. He's got the first down plus some. Looks like he's going to take it out to about the 35. Out of bounds stops the clock at 15 seconds in the third. And then I made the fourth quarter really important. Oh yeah. This 15 seconds lining down third quarter. Lockhart hands it off to number, look like number three, Norman. Can't really tell. All that yellow is getting to me. Yeah. Now that was number 30, David Vorns. And I got Moss attacking me. Uh, we on the bad side of the line for this one. 29 yep. to 10. Lincoln County's down. 29 to 10 here on the Lincoln County Broadcast Network, the Lincoln County Radio with the voice of the Red Devils, Doug Newman. 
and we're going to take a break. Take a break. Let's pay some bills. Pay some bills and stretch my leg. <laughs> As we come back, Lincoln County has gotten, uh, they're going to be third down and probably about, oh, let's call it a yard. Half. All right, third and three inches, ball straight down the field in front of me on the 44-yard line. And Lockhart's going to keep it. They're going to push him forward. He's going to have the first. Go on and give it to him. I can tell you from up here. They need to take your word on it, don't they? I guarantee you. Four or five. I ain't good with numbers. No. You got me doing stats, and I ain't good with numbers. I think I failed math twice uh -oh. in school. You're killing me up here. We're still going with that tight offensive line. Got one. No, boy, we had three of our guys just jump, jumped off, and and they know what the snap count is. Oh yeah. They supposed to be ahead of the curve. Mm hmm. All right, for about 65 yards. So we've been kind of <coughs> shooting ourselves in the foot too. So I'll make it first and 15. A little crossbow. Oh, we oh, fumbled ball the ball. He was out. still up. Lockhart jumped on it about the 25-yard line. He was still up. I don't know if the play was whistled dead, but the ball just popped out. And uh, If I it mean, wouldn't whistle dead, I don't know why it wouldn't because there was a whole pile of them. There's nobody to get going anywhere. It'll be recovered back at the and that gives us about 20, 25. It gives us about six turnovers for the night. We've only lost three of them with six fumbles. All right, we got two wide on the right, one to the left. Drop us back to pass, got penalties Ooh. all over the place, and our receiver gets creamed. Their big old, one of their big old linebackers, number 59, just come and met him face to face. And I think that's one of the guys that made the uh, Augusta Chronicle okay. Sweet 16 number. Got a long way to go. We got to get, get, get it all the way past midfield to the the other 45. <coughs> Crawford is in the backfield. And we're just going to look inside handoff, try to run it up the middle. It gets it down about the 30, 31, pick up a few yards, not much. I don't understand why the referees aren't blowing the whistle earlier than that. They're just letting them guys pile up on mm -hmm. our guys. O'Neill, number 84, is back for the punt. Seems like we've been punting a I lot tonight. I say, how many times has he punted the ball? Tonight? I don't even know. I don't even want to know. <coughs> Snaps there. He gets Great another good punt. kick. On about the 26-yard line, he takes it. He's running over to the sideline. He He's getting one. loose. He's down about the 40-yard line. Down and out of bounds about the 41. There's a flag sitting down about the 38. 8.54 left to go in the fourth quarter. Lincoln County's down 29-10. Our fans couldn't cross over here, and theirs couldn't cross Pretty over there. Yep. Wilkes County comes back, and we probably expect them to run a little bit here as they, they try to wind this clock down. Uh, they've uh, they've had ball control tonight. He's in the shotgun, does a little inside handoff to his motion man, coming from left to right, and he's going to turn the corner and pick up some yards. Does it go down or go out of bounds? Clock still running, so he went down before he got out of bounds. We're going to pick up about eight yards. Going to make it second and two. And Washington guy got one got up slow, coming to the sideline, getting seen to by the training staff. Second and two for the Tigers. He's still in that shotgun. Got two wide to the left. Quarterback just going to hand off to his to a little inside handoff, going up the middle, spins around, stands him up. They finally blow him down, and he might pick up a yard. They're going to bring up, we'll call it third and a yard. Steadily as the clock runs, 8.08 mm -hmm. left to go in the fourth quarter here at Larry Campbell Stadium. Lincoln County down 29 to 10. They put three wide to the left side. Got one set back with the quarterback in the shotgun, one right to the right. Fakes the handoff, keeps it himself, comes to the left side, turns, oh, good. tries to turn the corner, and he gets shoestring tackle from behind. Austin Parks. No, Austin. correction, Jalen Wade, number 14. All I saw was the four. I thought it was a 44, but it was Jalen Wade, number 14. Lincoln County comes back out on defense. Wilkes County out the shotgun. 
Number six goes back, has all night. Oh, got a number seven. Javon yep. Holloway almost almost had him a Christmas gift there. A little, he's going to do a little, what they call it, a little trick-or-treat. He's going <laughs> to pop him. And uh, he, number six, just got rid of it just in time. Clock at 7.32. Another little handoff to a set back. Goes straight up the middle. He's got daylight and a first down. He gets hit at the 50 and just kind of le leaps up and spins around and picks up another three yards in the air for the first down in our territory. <clears throat> they still going with the no huddle. We're in the four man front on the defense. Just a little handoff inside again. 28 done broken. He's got daylight dancing around inside the 30, 20, 15, and we finally wrestle him down inside the 10 at about the seven. And all they do it is inside handoffs up the middle. Well, and it's just like we've said before, they're tired, Doug. We're getting down. Seven minutes left to go in the game, 29 to 10. Most of our guys play both ways. I mean, they're just tired. I mean, we're not making excuses. We're just telling you the truth. <laughs> tired, boss. Dog tired. tired. As the ice hitting the green mile. Another little inside handoff going up the middle, and they just kind of drive their feet. Picking up a yard or two, stacking it up, running, running some ticks off the clock. Second down and goal from about the eight-yard eight, eight yard line. All on the eight. Two wides to the right, one to the left. Still in that wide formation. Quarterback bobbles the ball, picks it up, and I think he's going to touch down. Does he score? Yep. Touchdown, Tigers. Touchdown, Tigers. It's 6.25 to go in the fourth. Washington Wilkes is on the board again. Eight yard quarterback keeper. In the fourth quarter. And it's good. It's good. It's not high, but it's through the upright. That's all you need. Kick is good. to 10. And uh, Wilkes County just kind of running on down the field. And that, that little play there, 17 rushes for a little bit over 100 yards. It done got them over the 100 yard mark. Get off just, to us. Just we, like we said before, if uh, you got a husband and wife, uh, Link, one you know, born in Lincoln County, one born in Wilkes County, they're married. Somebody may be sleeping on the couch. Uh -huh. So uh, I tell you what, Wilkes County's finna kick it off here. And like I said, hopefully we can just control this ball for the rest of the game and, and uh, get out here with a little dignity. There you go. What little there is left here. We're going to bobble the kickoff, pick it up finally, get to running, breaks one tackle. He's crossing the 20 to 25 and finally down at about the 28. That's where we'll start this possession with about 6.16 to go in the ball game. And our guys, don't get us wrong, our guys aren't giving up. They're still out there running hard as they tell me we're off next Friday night. Hopefully when we come back to, for a football game, it'll be a little bit cooler. A little cooler and a, and a, and a whole lot more regrouped. Still running everything in there tight. Reverse spins around, hands off to his head back. Who's going to pick up a quick first down off of that carry? He's going to get it out to right near the 40-yard line. Is that Norman on the carry? Yeah, Norman on the carry. Down to six minutes to go. Lincoln County with the first down. First and 10 from just shy of the 40, our 40-yard 40 line. About 34 attempts for 115 yards. And we're going to hand off to Norman again. He's going to pick up a quick six, seven yards. Actually, they're going to say it ended up time. They finally got him down about nine yards, maybe close to a first again. <clears throat> they're going to say that second effort did get him the first down. Because this, <laughs> this, uh, this is, time is running out on us. Uh, we're, we're regrouping, putting something together. Another handoff. Oh, no. He got it smothered. Who did he get the handoff? I don't think he got the ball handed off, and I don't think he's going he's to be getting up too fast. Getting up. That was number 59 again. I told you that's the player to watch right there for that Wilkes County defense. And uh, number five is going to have to head to the sideline. Doc will be over there looking at him, checking him out. All right, number 11, Josh Shelton then, sophomore at the quarterbacking. Spins around, hands off. Or does he not hand off, keeping himself in as a – does he get it handed off? Uh, I don't think he did. <clears throat> Loss hold on this wall, ball. Keep this clock just running as fast yeah. as we can. Josh Shelton under center. 
Still everything in there tight. He hands off to Jamar. Jamar's got the ball. He's going to have the first and more. Tries to break loose. They're going to push Still him running. back to the 35. So we're going to pick up about 16, 17 yards out of that. But we get the first down. We get to keep the ball and keep it out of their hand as long as we hold on to it. Yep. The clock continues to run. <clears throat> Shelton under, under center is quarterback. Gets a snap, spins around, hands off. Is that number 30 on the handoff? Going to pick up three or four yards. Couldn't tell. Is it 30 or 40, kidding? And I saw a zero on the end of the number. Was that 40? No, it was 30. 30, David. David Byrne. Picks up about two and a half yards. We're going to call it second and eight. Still got everything in there tight. Josh turns around, hands it off to his back, coming from the right to the left side, goes east-west, not much north-south. Was that uh, number 12, Jamal Norman, Jamal he handed off to the freshman. That gives us about 39 attempts for 142 yards. Most likely go for it on on fourth, or either let uh, O'Neal come out and try a long field goal just for a... Going to hand off, is that a burn again? It's going to get it to the 30. Picks up about five 30. yards. So it's going to bring up fourth and about five. Too. That, that did get your confidence built up too. Going forward on fourth, 222 to go in the ball game. Oh, Josh Shelton lost the handle of the ball and luckily he dove on dove top on of it. it, but that's going to... That's going to probably be our swan song as far yep. as the offense goes. <clears throat> With that about, takes us down to the two-minute warning. Yep. About two, they let the clock run probably, no, they stopped at 208. 208, okay. Fourth quarter here, Lincoln County down 36 to 10. On the at Larry Campbell Stadium, Buddy Buffett Field here in Lincoln, Georgia, 378 war. But from there, it was all good stuff. And Washington's going to throw a pass out in the got order right. Flag Flaps, the got a flag. Why are they throwing a flag? 36 to 10. Just say, well, they did save handoffs and got touchdowns a while ago. Campbell's first season, like a, a three and seven or something like that. Something else. Yeah, and let's just hope Coach Banks is. But better than that. Well, like I said, we got a young team. We got yeah. we got a lot of stuff to work on. Uh, this Tiger team has been real physical tonight, yeah. real big, real physical. Uh, and we've got some young guys. Uh, just you know, we, we they played got a in, massive defense. Oh, you know, they got line. a massive defense line, and we played the offense. Our offense has played tight all night long. And they do another little inside handoff. Washington players do. We stack them up. He picks up a couple yards. It's gonna make it. Third, third, what about 16, 15, 16, minute 35 to go in the ball game. Yep. Should have about two, three more plays in this ball game unless there's an incomplete pass or something. And I think they're, they, they are, Washington's let the clock run down before they run plays, put the man in motion left to right. Quarterback does a little handoff again, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself. Takes off running. He's at midfield before we finally bring him down. They pick up a first down with a minute 10 to go in the ball game. All he did was a fake handoff. Kept it himself. Goes up the middle and there's a seam on there. And then he's at midfield. They have lit us up. And the clock's not running fast enough to suit them. No. But they are. They're not, they're not snapping the ball until they're getting down close to the, the time they have to. And he just does another handoff. To the man trying to go in at the middle, and he breaks loose. He's in the second there. He's off to the race. He's in the 20, and we're going to bring him down inside the 10 or the 15. Inside the 10, and all they do is just inside handoff. And I don't think, and I don't think they're trying to run the score not. up by no means. They just, I mean, we're just tired. On and off the field, I don't think they're going to make it. Well, they did bring number 12. They're trying to in. get them out there, trying to get some of them younger guys to get some yep. playing time. Down to 20 seconds. And he's going to do another little inside handoff. We're going to stack it up, bring him down, and that should be the last play of the ball game. We're down to 10 seconds. 
Seven seconds, six seconds. And we're going to come to the end here. Thank One's goodness. Up. Yes. Ball game is finally over. And uh, at one minute to ten. <laughs> and Lincoln County is on the losing end. 36 to 10. Uh, we don't have any bright spots for the game, folks, but uh, it is what it is. Don't too often say the score where the other team has more points than we do. But right now, final score is Washington Wilkes 36, Lincoln County 10. Right now, we'll be back in just a few minutes with the score and the stats and our selection for the Lev's Barbecue and Grill Player of the Game on your Lincoln County Broadcast Network.